frustrated about the construction. I have to park my car hella far over there. I just, I don't like it. Not too bad yet. Kind of disappointing. Construction crews broke ground today for SOU's North Campus Village, scheduled for completion in 2013. But Bethany Johnson, a freshman, lives in the hall next door, and she says the work is proving to be a hassle. It's mostly the parking issues. Um, I paid $118 for a parking pass, and I figured, you know, I could park down there and I could park back here, but now I have to park by the gym and it's just really inconvenient. The $31 million project will involve tearing out or grubbing the adjacent parking lot, tennis courts, and five homes to make way for two residence halls and a dining area. The trees, um, they're really beautiful right now and they're tearing them down for a building for no reason. So, However, project superintendent Doug McKee says the trees will come back. They're saving some trees even inside the project area and uh, there's going to be a lot more new trees come in. Plus, workers say it's good for the economy. It's going to put a lot of people to work. There'll be um, all different trades working on this project through the next 15 months. For now, students in the Green Springs complex will have to live with the noise and lack of parking, saying they'll make do. I guess it has to happen. Now, demolition on the parking lot begins on Monday. Those houses, they're coming down within the next month. I'm live in Ashland, Jennifer Elliott, NBC5 News.